Hi, thanks for coming back. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a script to a button and have it initiate several functions, one after the next. Uh, for example, a show opening. So let's go to one of my tablets or my uh, canvases here that I've already done for tutorials. So we'll take this one here. This is going to load up this panel. This panel is associated to these inputs here, which are currently running on my vMix computer. And uh, I'm just monitoring it with the NDI monitor here, so we can see what's going on on vMix. I have a multi-view coming out of output 2. So I want to show you here, if uh, we go to the edit mode again, that will bring up the edit box for buttons. If you use um, a script in a button, as this one here, I called it show opening, it will open up a sec another window here. Now this window is a script builder. What you do here actually is add in the commands that you would want to execute. So you would go to this first one, you would just add it by adding a, a line in, in here and put in your command. So this first command I have is to cut direct to this countdown, which is on input 2, I believe, and then sleep, in other words, wait 5,000 milliseconds. So wait for 5 seconds, then fade to this other input. It's a video, it's an MP4. Wait until that input, that video is finished playing, then fade to another input to the camera, to a camera, um, and then fade, and the value here uh, doesn't really matter. We can sleep now for two seconds, or yes, two seconds, 2,000 milliseconds, and then overlay um, a title over that. Then four seconds, sleep for four seconds, overlay uh, the title, or remove the overlay from the title. So once you add in all your commands here, one after the other, you choose them by doing this, for example, here, the cut direct, you would choose the command, just a little bit like you would in the info box, so the transition, cut direct, and then choose whatever input you wanted to assign it to. So we would set that to the red tie countdown. Okay, we'll do that. So it's the same thing. You can change that to whatever you like. If you decide later you wanted to change that to something else, we can cut direct to, um, let's say, um, here, let's just do that one, smart goals. That was a PowerPoint. Okay, so we could cut direct to that, and then it would execute that command. So I'll just put back to red tie because that's a little more interesting one. It's got a, it's actually got a, a video on there. So we can test the script. So if you pay attention on the output window here of the NDI, you will see the script in action. So when we test, it goes to the countdown, waits five seconds. There you go, and then it goes to this video, USB MP4. That was a video, short one. Waits until it's completed. Actually, I put in and out point markers on this one because it's from a longer video as such. And then it fades back to a webcam, adds in an overlay, and pulls out the overlay. So by adding that script to one button, you can actually create your show opener. This can be used for a bunch of other things as well, such as uh, uh, replays and uh, you know, be creative. You can use it uh, in whatever kind of script uh, you, you want to build. Uh, according to your needs. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful and um, we'll just continue to uh, crunch away at some of these little tutorial videos. I'm keeping them as short as possible so that you don't have to listen to me rant for half an hour. Okay, hopefully that was uh, useful for you and uh, we'll see you in another video. Thanks for listening.